Hi, I'm Xiao. Well, I made this. So here is the giant 608 ball bearing replica. It is about a 5x scale in each dimension and is proportional as best I could. This model is a print and place model and prints within 13 hours on my Ender 3 and about 12 on my Prusa printer. That is because those two printers do print a little bit different in speed. I print these in 0.15 millimeter layer heights. And well, I get a product that actually spins. Now it's hard to spin it with just one finger, but it definitely spins well. And I will be showing you um, how you can slice it to be printable for you. So one thing to note is I did take my time to design this model. And in return, I do request a small portion to be able to download the model and print it. This small fee is going to be universal across all my model repository websites that I use. As well, you can also buy this printed on my Etsy store, which will be also in the description, as well as all the model repositories through my link tree that's in the description and in my bio of every social media profile. So what you're going to need is a 3D printer that is capable of 0.2 millimeter clearances. You will also need a slicer that has paint on supports and you'll need a nozzle that is capable of printing 0.15 millimeter layer heights. That is mainly a lot of printers unless you changed your nozzle before, but most printers will be able to print at 0.15 millimeter layer heights unless you change your nozzle to like a 0.8 millimeter or one millimeter nozzle. Anyway, let's get started and showing how to slice this model and print it for yourself. So here's the model and the slicer, and as you can see, it is designed a little strange with these little loops right here. They actually is support for the bridging, and then there's actual support material, which is kind of hard to explain because I really don't know how to explain it. But basically, I designed these things, these circles, to hit the bed, and then inside these circles, you do have to have your paint on supports. So this model really only works with slicers that do implement paint on supports. But as you see, I paint inside the circle, and then when I go to slice it, it'll print something like this. And because of these circular round um, like supports or whatever that I model in, those actually do snip off very easily with some simple snippers. Um, and it just builds itself up. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, definitely consider downloading the model. Again, it's a small fee. Or consider, if you don't have a printer, consider checking out my Etsy store to find more products like this, which are giant mechanical toys. I will be posting more um, replica of things or whatever on all the model repositories as well. I'm working on a few other projects right now, which will be shown later. In addition, if you do have your own 3D printer or you maybe you do want to shop on Etsy and you do want a small discount, consider supporting me on Patreon. Through Patreon, you can get a small discount on Etsy purchases or you can get my 3D models there for free. Oh, well, you're subbing, but you get my models when they come out and usually before they actually get to the model repository. In addition, you could also be a test printer if you want to test print some things or whatever and let me know how it's printing on other printers. Because as you know, I only have two printers. I have a Prusa and an Ender 3. Anyway, thank you for watching. Definitely check out all the social medias. Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, following everything else, so on and so on. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.